There is no a clear terrain as how many groups they are. They are not on. They are not organized as how the Boko Haram are organized. But one thing is, what has he done to those he negotiated with? Okay, agreed. These people you negotiated with them and give them money to stop. Our argument is not to give them money to stop, but engage them in fighting those that are in the bushes. Must I recall people to pick up arms and defend themselves? That's right. So why did he not engage those people that are now have been trained on how to fight and know the terrain better than the villages because they live there. They are in, it's like, I am a criminal. I know the psychic of the criminal. Why did he not use those people to fight those criminals? He said, okay, we are all humans and we can all die and that we have, uh, we have to learn to defend ourselves, not rely on security issues. That's even complicating the issues more. If, if you use those that you have negotiated with to fight those that are not ready to negotiate, are you not even creating a bigger monster? No, you are not. Because already you have one monster there fight there. These are repented monsters. Like now the cleanest one. You are not going to fight, allow them in, only them. They are securities that you have been paying. Put them together. They should guide the security operatives into the bushes. Not You should not just be waiting, like mm. sitting in the cities and waiting for them to attack. Mm. And then, like, hit you. Are, you should mix them there. where they are. These people know their bases, know their houses. In fact, they can name some.